All right, we are looking at the vector day two, IB style. Um, and so the magnitude of a vector is, is its length, is how long is that vector, um, what's its, um, it sometimes represents length, sometimes it represents force, sometimes we don't care what it represents, um, but we'll, well, it's, it's the length. The notation is used to describe it in IB, we're lazy and we'll say like vector eight, the, and we'll just draw those little bars like that. They look kind of like um, absolute value bars, except in IB we call that the modulus. Um, but if you think about it, if your vector started at the origin, you want to know how far is it from the origin to the end of the vector. That's the same as the absolute value. So they actually are related. If that was confusing, don't worry, we'll talk about it more later. Um, in pre-cal, for whatever reason, that's too they have to make it more complicated, and they would put a double set of bars to represent the magnitude. Okay. So let's say, um, oh, what is a unit vector? We talked about that before. It's a vector that has a magnitude of 1. And so we saw this one before, which was equal to i. We saw this one before, which was equal to j. And then somebody pointed out in my HL class, I can't remember who, I'm sorry, but that things on the unit circle, so like 1 half root 3 over 2, would also give you a magnitude of 1. Okay, so if you think about like the, the different coordinates on the unit circle, this is a unit vector. It's got a magnitude of 1. Okay, so then they want us to find the magnitude of this vector. Well, if we want to know how long this is, I can come along here and draw a triangle. And this is 1, 2, 3 units, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4. And yes, I did that on purpose. The magnitude of that, of that vector is 5. Okay, so if I have the vector between these two points, then basically all I need is, well, I'm, let's say that this, let's call this A, let's call this B. So vector A, B, the vector itself would be equal to, well, x2 minus x1, and then y2 minus y1. And so its magnitude, the magnitude of A, B, would be equal to, well, this thing, so think, it's, it's Pythagorean theorem is what's happening here. We take this value square, this value square, add them together, take their square root, and that'll give you the, the third side. So it's equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, the magnitude of vector um, a, b would just mean, okay, well, if a, if, if, say, let's call this vector, I don't know, a, b, I keep using the same letters. If a, b is equal to that, then that means I've gone a units here and then b units that way. So a and b, then I just need to find this magnitude. So the magnitude of vector a, b, or sometimes we might say the magnitude of a, b like this, we might use that notation, that's going to be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Okay, these were from before. So okay, you'll notice that this vector okay we're going negative 5, positive 3. Negative 5, positive 3. They also want Ks. That, I think that vector was 9, negative 2. And then Hs was um, 6, 5. Okay, so if I want to find the magnitude of those different things, magnitude of OK is going to be the square root of 25 plus 9 or square root of 34. Notice negative 5 and I square it becomes positive 25, positive 5 and I square it becomes positive 25. This vector has the same magnitude as that vector, right? Ks, we said, was 9, um, negative 2, so this is the square root of 81 plus 4, which is the square root of 85. Hs, square root of 65, I, I can't talk, 36, wow. Uh, plus 25, that's 50, so 61. Did I do that correctly? 41 plus 20 more is 61. Okay, and there was finding the magnitudes of those vectors. What's next? Um, I'll make another video.